Are electric vehicles really the future of transportation, and are they as green and efficient as they're perceived to be? Today, the automobile world is in the midst of an electric revolution, with electric vehicles or EVs gaining immense popularity. The allure of EVs is not hard to understand. They promise a future with lower carbon emissions, significantly reduced fuel costs, and a silencer on the noisy combustion engines we've grown accustomed to. Imagine, coasting along highways in near silence, money saved from not having to stop at gas stations and the satisfaction of shrinking your carbon footprint. It's a tantalizing prospect, isn't it? But like any revolutionary technology, EVs aren't without their fair share of complexities. The question we need to be asking ourselves is not whether EVs are beneficial, they certainly are in many ways, but whether these benefits are enough to overshadow the potential hitches that come with them. But are these benefits enough to outweigh the potential drawbacks? Let's delve deeper. One major concern is the sustainability of the EV battery supply chain. As we delve deeper into the world of electric vehicles, it's crucial to shed light on the elephant in the room, the production conundrum of EV batteries. The process is not as green as one might imagine, and it's riddled with issues that need addressing. First off, the production of electric vehicle batteries is a highly energy-intensive process. It involves a series of complex procedures, from mining the raw materials to the manufacturing of the final product. This energy consumption is primarily powered by fossil fuels, which results in a significant amount of carbon emissions. Then there's the issue of sourcing raw materials. Lithium, cobalt, nickel, and other precious metals are essential ingredients in the making of EV batteries. However, these resources are not infinite. The extraction of these materials also poses significant environmental challenges, including deforestation, soil erosion, and pollution of water sources. Furthermore, the geopolitical ramifications of sourcing these materials from conflict-ridden regions cannot be ignored. Moreover, the environmental impact of EV battery production extends beyond just the manufacturing process. Consider the end of a battery's life cycle. While efforts are being made to recycle and repurpose used batteries, the reality is that a large proportion of them end up in landfills, contributing to the growing e-waste problem. Experts in the field echo these concerns. According to Professor Linda Gaines of the Argonne National Laboratory, we need to look at the entire life cycle of the battery, from cradle to grave, to truly understand the environmental impact. Similarly, Dr. Timothy Gutowski of MIT emphasizes the need for more sustainable manufacturing processes and better recycling systems. So, while EVs may not require fossil fuels to run, their production process still has a significant carbon footprint. As we continue to champion the transition towards electric vehicles, it's essential that we also address these underlying issues and strive to make the entire process as sustainable as possible. Another issue that often goes unnoticed is the charging infrastructure dilemma. As we immerse ourselves in the electric vehicle revolution, we need to take a hard look at the charging infrastructure, or rather, the lack of it. In many regions, charging stations are as rare as hen's teeth, and this scarcity is a significant roadblock for potential EV owners. It's not just about having a charging station around the corner, it's about having enough of them to accommodate the growing number of electric vehicles on the road. Let's talk numbers. In the United States alone, it is estimated that we'll need nearly half a million charging stations to support the projected 20 million electric vehicles by the end of the decade, and that's just scratching the surface. Another challenge is the time it takes to charge an electric vehicle. We're all used to the convenience of refueling our traditional cars in just a few minutes. But with electric vehicles, charging can take anywhere from 20 minutes to 12 hours, depending on the type of charger and the vehicle's battery capacity. This significant time difference could be a deterrent for many potential EV owners who value convenience and time efficiency. Now, let's add another layer to the issue. The strain on our electric grid. As more electric vehicles plug into charge, the demand for electricity soars. Our current grid in many areas is not equipped to handle this surge in demand. This could lead to power outages and instability, which is a concern for everyone, not just EV owners. Many experts echo these concerns. They emphasize that a robust and efficient charging infrastructure is crucial for the widespread adoption of electric vehicles. They also highlight the need for upgrades to our electricity grid to prevent potential disruptions. This clearly shows that for EVs to become mainstream, a lot more needs to be done in terms of infrastructure. 
It's not just about producing more electric vehicles, it's about creating an ecosystem that supports them. We need to invest in infrastructure, improve charging times, and adapt our grid to the increasing demand. It's a big task, but one that we need to tackle for a sustainable future. And then there's the battery life and replacement costs. When we talk about electric vehicles, we can't ignore the elephant in the room, the battery. You see, the typical lifespan of an EV battery is somewhere between 8 to 15 years, depending on how you use and maintain it. However, just like any other battery, it doesn't last forever. So, what happens when the battery's lifespan comes to an end? Well, you have to replace it. And that's where things get a bit tricky. Replacing an electric vehicle's battery is not as simple as swapping out the batteries in your TV remote. It's a complex, high-tech operation that comes with a hefty price tag. Battery replacement costs can range anywhere from a few thousand dollars to over ten thousand dollars, depending on the make and model of the vehicle. Now that's a significant expense, especially when you consider that the average motorist might need to replace their battery at least once during the life of their electric vehicle. But it's not just about the financial implications. There's also the environmental aspect to consider. While electric vehicles are a great way to reduce our carbon footprint, the disposal of used batteries presents a serious environmental challenge. According to experts, the majority of EV batteries are not recycled, and their disposal can lead to the release of harmful chemicals into the environment. This is a significant concern, considering the growing popularity of electric vehicles and the inevitable increase in the number of used batteries that will need to be disposed of in the future. So, while electric vehicles offer many advantages over traditional petrol or diesel vehicles, it's important to remember that they are not without their flaws. Battery life and replacement costs are two key issues that we need to address if we are to make electric vehicles a truly sustainable transportation solution. The cost and environmental impact of battery replacement are significant drawbacks that need to be addressed. It's clear that while electric vehicles have their benefits, they also come with a set of challenges. Indeed, the journey to a cleaner, greener future isn't as straightforward as it might seem. Let's circle back to some of the key points we've discussed so far. Firstly, the environmental impact of battery production. It's a paradox, really. We're promoting electric vehicles to reduce carbon emissions. But the process of manufacturing these EV batteries is far from clean. The extraction of raw materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel necessary for these batteries has significant environmental implications. It's a catch-22 situation that needs addressing. Then, let's talk about the charging infrastructure dilemma. The widespread adoption of electric vehicles necessitates a comprehensive and reliable charging network. However, the reality is that many areas, especially rural and remote regions, lack the required infrastructure. This can lead to what is often referred to as range anxiety, the fear of running out of charge before reaching a charging station. This issue is a significant barrier to many potential EV users and is something that needs to be overcome for EVs to truly go mainstream. And finally, we cannot overlook the issue of battery life and replacement costs. While EVs may save you money on fuel in the long run, the cost of replacing the vehicle's battery can be quite steep. The lifespan of an EV battery is typically around 7 to 10 years, after which it needs to be replaced. This high replacement cost is a significant factor to consider when thinking about the total cost of owning an electric vehicle. All of these points underscore the fact that, while electric vehicles are indeed a crucial piece of the puzzle for a sustainable future, they are not a magic bullet. There are still many hurdles to overcome, many flaws to iron out. While electric vehicles are a step in the right direction for sustainable transportation, these issues highlight that there is still much work to be done. What we need is a balanced discussion on the pros and cons of electric vehicles. We're on a journey of innovation, with electric vehicles at the forefront. They promise a future of clean, efficient, and sustainable transportation. Yet, like any innovation, they bring their own set of challenges. The battery supply chain, charging infrastructure, and costs associated with battery life and replacement are all subjects that need to be addressed. We can't simply gloss over these issues, nor should we allow them to halt our progress. Instead, we should use these challenges as stepping stones, guiding us towards creating better, more sustainable solutions. 
We need to consider all angles, from the environmental benefits to the practical concerns and continue the conversation about how to make electric vehicles more sustainable and practical for widespread use. This is not just about finding the best mode of transportation, but about shaping our world for generations to come. Only through such balanced discussions can we hope to drive towards a truly sustainable future.